Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Sketch Monkey here. Today we're gonna have a look at the Nissan 300ZX, the Z32 variant, the later one. I'm gonna redesign the rear end. I made a front and rear design about six months ago, so I thought it would be fun to kind of complete the entire package. And here we have the gorgeous, beautiful lineup of all the Z cars throughout the years. And I don't think, you know, there are a few cars that I'm a bigger fan of than the Nissan Z uh, lineup, specifically the 240Z and of course we have the 300ZX Z32 right here and here you have the Z31 you also have the 280ZX right here which uh, feels a little bit like the 240 but it lost this beautiful uh, curve curvature that we have all around the 240 and it got a little bit more static a little bit more 80s styling I would say going down further we have the 350z which I think looks better than the 370z just because we have a overall better line flow in the 350z and I love how the roof line goes in to the taillights like this and creates some interesting connection between the line flow and the graphic features of the car that we don't really have in the 370z down here it's still a pretty good looking car but it got a little bit more bubbly a little it feels a little fatter it feels like a fat version of the 350z which makes it look a little beefier than 350 but i prefer the elegant the, the more elegant and light design of the 350 and then of course we have the new nissan z which i'm a huge fan of i think this is the best iteration of a modernized uh, or inspired by the original 240z design i think this has all the key lines that i want to see in a modernization of the original 240 and now in japan they even have a, a split front end that can be dealer installed which i hope come to the us because honestly that front end in my opinion looks better than this uh, rectangle that we have in the us spec nissan z's all right so this is the one we're going to redesign so what i want to do here is pretty straightforward i want to create more of uh, modernized proportions meaning we need to work a little bit on the re relationship between the greenhouse this height and the height of the body so i want to have the greenhouse sit a little higher have a little bit more body mass sticking up further up on the side and i'm also going to remove all these uh, 90s graphics this line here for example and the light in the front this light is going to go uh, the door handle is gonna go and a couple of other changes you have this wiper in the rear which i'm not a huge fan of that's gonna go too overall i want to keep the uh pretty much the similar proportions to this because as always when i do redesigns i want it to be almost instantly recognizable as the original car with modernized touches to it so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the diffuser from the new nissan z add it down here i'm also gonna take the lights from the new nissan z and remold them a little bit to fit this more squarish uh, layout instead of having the curvature in the end that the new Z has and last but not least we gotta work on these wheels because these are very 90s looking wheels I still think they look great but if we're gonna have a modern car definitely gonna have to update those as well so let's jump into the redesign here and let's see what this is going to turn out like I've always been a fan as I said of the Z cars I think they have a long and great history of being performance cars that are for the average person you don't need to be a millionaire to jump into one of these and you still have plenty of performance when it comes to power or handling and so on and i think that's what makes the z cars special now looking at this redesign of what's going on here first of all we need to if we want to have a modernized version of a 90s or even further back 80s car 70s car we need to think about what are the surfaces today that differentiates from that era that we're taking the car from and in this case we have a lot of cut lines that are unnecessary today because of new manufacturing methods we also have these lights on the side these reflector lights that need to go because usually we don't have those in in modernized cars we are required to have a side indicator somewhere on the side of the car a lot of times today that happens to be the positioning of the side indicator in this rear side mirror so instead of having it on the front fender it has now moved up to the mirror in a lot of new cars so that could be an option for for this design right here and the reason why i'm removing the door handles on most of my redesigns because to me door handles just ruins the overall surfacing of a car and we have the technology today for example mustang mach e has touch pads or touch areas where you just touch those areas and the door pops open and i think that looks a lot better than having this cutout in the door or even ha having like a tesla door handle where you just have the outline and we push in 
both of those kind of ruins the flow of the surfacing. So I want to remove those. And instead, we can have one of these push buttons in the B pillar, for example, and it will have the same function as a door handle. I had some problems with the taillights of this car because they don't really fit the 300ZX. The proportions of the new Nissan Z are more rounded. It have more of, a, more of a curvature to the rear end. And this is almost like a flat surface in the rear. So I really had to work on kind of fitting that and making it look correct in perspective, which was kind of a challenge because I don't have the right side taillights that I can use from the Nissan Z photo. So what I did was just take the left side mirror it and then try to visualize some depth that the LEDs actually sit behind a glass panel by adding some black contrast on the very end of the of the end point of the car. And looking at the shoulder line, I also wanted to work a little bit on the shoulder line and have kind of this integrated wing go into a line that kind of dips into the bodywork on the side and then have a shoulder going from the front end fender wrapping around the wheelhouse and then just swishing back into the door and kind of fades out before it meets the rear and uh, fender shoulder line and also add this line at the bottom to give it some some sort of visual weight in addition to this diffuser and the side skirt and the front end splitter that also going to bring the car lower to the ground and that's what we want if we're going to modernize a uh, an old car like this because cars today they sit a lot lower and especially if you're going to have a performance car you'd really want the car to sit lower to the ground so you don't create any lift underneath the car now looking at these wheels that I'm going to add at the very end here, wheels, as I've said so many times before, can either make or break a design. And I think white multi-spoke wheels for this design would suit this car perfectly. I think red and white has always worked and also red and black usually work really well. But putting these multi-spoke wheels on here just makes it look like it sits properly on the ground. In addition to the new body panels or pieces that we put in the side skirt, the diffuser and the front end splitter, it kind of lowers the entire car and s makes the car rest beautifully onto these wheels. And at the very end, when I show you the before and after and switch between them, you're going to see that the greenhouse was actually sh narrowed a little bit. The, the height of it was shortened or the, the body panel on the side was reaching further up, creating a slimmer greenhouse looking at it from a side. And this is also something that a lot of modern cars has that was different from the 90s proportions, where you had almost 40-60 ratio between the greenhouse section of the, of the height of the car and the rest of the body of the car. Now we have more of 35-65 ratio, and that's what I wanted to go with in this redesign. So that's my redesign of the Nissan 300Z. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.